Hello YouTube, Ace here, and I'm doing a special on Battlefield 4 single player. And, spoiler alert, it still is broken and sucks. But, there is an interesting reason, but I do have a reason for why I'm doing this. And yes, I am doing this live, so... First of all, it's, like I said, it's broken. You just saw a guy there go invisible, and there's another little amusing thing coming up here real quick. Always happens. <laughs> yep, your eyes did not deceive you there. That did just actually happen. <laughs> they did deliberately leave that in the game and not patch it since it came out in 2013, but you know what? Why do I... Anyways, though, but when it comes down to it, why am I covering, though, Battlefield 4's single-player specifically? Well, there's a reason for this, and the reason is, while I have done videos in the past on what makes a good Battlefield campaign good, I haven't really done too many on what makes a bad Battlefield campaign bad, so why not, right? So let's talk about what makes Battlefield 4's campaign here so abysmal, aside from, you know, the bugs. Uh, for a start, if there is one rule I say you should always follow with a Battlefield style of campaign, under no circumstances should it be linear. That kills the game's campaign faster than anything. And oh boy does it show here. Now, now, part of the, now mostly this is because what makes a Battlefield game good in general is just the polar opposite of what makes a Call of Duty's campaign in general good. See, Call of Duty is always about that uh, very, very focused, linear, well-scripted experience in terms of its campaign. You, you and everyone else are going to get the same experience with Call of Duty's campaign. That's just how it's designed, and it works. It, but it's, it works because it's designed to work that way. In the case of Battlefield games, and what, made their, what makes a good Battlefield campaign good, well, it's the absolute opposite. It's all about being able to pick and choose your path. Yeah, you might get some certain specific objectives, but it's up to you on how to accomplish those objectives. That would make a Battlefield campaign good. And the examples I can think of that of actually good or decent Battlefield campaigns, well, for Battlefield specifically, it would of course be Battlefield 2 Modern Combat, and to a lesser extent, I would say Battlefield 1, which again, does the same thing. And, yeah, people have complained about Battlefield 1's campaign. Well, the main issue with Battlefield 1's campaign, by contrast, is that it's just too short. That's the main issue. There's a few others as well, but the level design is a major improvement over this, for example. Which can screw up like that. But anyways, uh, there are a few issues uh, that go hand-in-hand -hand with over-scripting your game as well, if you don't handle it right, like what this game does. Uh, for example, when it comes to scripting, it also gives the game more opportunities for things to go wrong and less room for error if things go wrong. Uh, now, granted, a game like, say, Arma 3, which is known for being, well, rather uh, rough around the edges, you will see bugs, of course, in its own right, because of the sheer size of it. But the bugs don't entirely break the game the way bugs could potentially hear. And by the way, this is easily one of the worst single-player campaigns of any FPS game I've ever played. Especially when you consider it's a AAA title. In fact, I would even go so far as to say with the campaign mode here that if they did even fix the bugs, it would not really improve the experience. Because, well, the bugs that are here, some of them are just do offer a certain comedic charm. Something that... Charm of any sort is something that this campaign is utterly devoid of in all other senses. Uh, you will not... I have not actually found any... They never did anything different with this campaign, except for the very, very end, and you have to play the very end three different times to get all the different guns. Which... Yeah, that's a huge issue. Now... If I've done this right, there's, by the way, another bug coming up, because I uh, had to... Oh, here we go. Oh my god, it's flying Chinese Jesus! What have you done? Giant flying Chinese Jesus, no! <laughs> uh, but, yeah. You jerks, what have you done? Um, 
Yeah, I'm not very good at acting. I don't well, not acting in the spur of the moment like this. Sorry, guys. But anyways, uh, but that, but that is, I find, uh, I find that to be very amusing that bugs like that exist in this game. But anyways, at the end of the day, what makes a Battlefield campaign good, like I've said, is having open level design, like what they did with Battlefield One. Although I would strongly advise making the uh, single player much longer than just a few hours. And I might have to do at some point uh, a Let's Play of a game that really shows a Battlefield-style game done right. Probably Modern Com Battlefield 2 Modern Combat or Star Wars Battlefront 2. I'm not entirely sure, but that's about all I really have to say about this. So, hope to see you guys again soon. Ace out.